Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Now, in the last episode, we we um, we finished off the uh, main quest line, which is the Norexis Folly quest line, and we managed to assemble the Dragon Banner. Um, now, what this allows us to do is it allows us to continue the quest line to reform the Empire, which is our ultimate goal. But before we can create our kingdom and continue on with the quest, we need to take a settlement of Imperial culture like um, a dresser castle here. So the goal for today, what we're going to try and do is we're going to just finish off trying to boost the prosperity of Auton Guard, probably take out these hideouts um, just in the area as quickly as we can and then we're going to declare war again on the Carnate, try and take Hakun Castle in this episode and then possibly even Samira Castle and we're going to just try and push them back as much as possible and uh, hopefully eventually take a dresser. But once we've taken out the castles, um, we should be good to then push forward. So that's what we're going to try and do. But first, we're going to try just try and boost the prosperity in Auton Guard. Uh, Master Ross the Silent is here. Don't really mind. What's your quest? Fencing stolen goods. And it should be fairly quick and easy to do. All I've got to do is just say, yes, this is illegal. Take them back. Here we go. All done. You might hate us a little bit for it, but gets the mission done. I see, you can take them. There we go. So that's increased our relationship with her, which is good, because that was really bad. Um, increased by 5 to positive with him, and it's gone down to 0 with him, which doesn't really affect us either way. So we're going to take Mustros into the party. No reason to keep him there. Um, so that's the town sorted. So now we just need to go to Ransam. Uh, all these ones. Euronjan needs some work doing, so we'll see what they want doing, see if we can send a companion out to do that. Dynastica, and that's quite far, so I wonder if I have anybody with 150 riding. Damn it. Uh, where is Dynastica again? How far away is that? Oh. Mm, it's not too bad. Yeah, go on. I can head down that way, that's no worries. That's not too far. We can do that and then on our way back we can then declare war on the Carnate. So we'll go and we'll do that quest for him, no worries. We're just gonna go ahead and clear out this hideout first. I think we've just missed it. Damn it, we're gonna have to wait a full day unfortunately. That's fine. We'll just sit here and take so yeah, we're gonna take Hakun um and then possibly take Chikand after, or we'll take Samira Castle. Because the Empire's taken that town, we're quite secure on this border, so once we rem remove Hakan, um, we should be fairly safe, but um, we'll have to see what happens. Who do we want to take? Do we want to take our companions? One, two, and three, and then that should be good. I think I need to give that new companion, Emir Colbiter, some more armor. I don't think I've actually given him any. Yeah, that's him there. He's got nothing. Alright, I need to make sure I do that at some point as well then. No sense in him dying. I'm sure it won't take long for him to die. Ugh, look at me. I'm all at the back. I've got no athletic skill. <laughs> nice. Go on, Eckhart. Go on, son. Ah, oh, Nearly. It's taking a few hits here, boys. Somebody over there. You guys can clear the tunnel. I'll go kill this prick. Or we'll kill him. Watch out, me. Everyone's faster than me. God damn it. What are you doing? What are you looking at? It's not a dark one, is it? Who is that? Mosteros. Oh, I didn't rest. Just got really good armor. He's got those huge javelins as well. Don't actually think they've killed anyone with them yet. Not doing too great on that front. They have the tools. I'm just going to ignore you. And I'm going to run straight to the other guys. See if I can kill them first. While my guys deal with them. Damn. Anybody in here? Oh, don't tell me there's not anyone in here. So I just waste my time coming in here. I think I did, didn't I? Oh no. No, no. It's way too soon. Oh, really? Four hits. Damn. 
Got some improvements to make on my uh, sword skills. Jesus. One left. Was only eight or nine even? Weird. Usually when you leave a hideout for this long, they have a lot more. Yeah, all good. Lovely. Just gonna have a sip of coffee. Beautiful. Wow, there really isn't many of them. Alright. Well. That would be a pointless duel. There's only two of them, so we'll just uh, kill them all now. Get them out of the way. There we go. He's dead. Good job, boys. Right, let's get out of here. Take the prisoners. Upgrade the men. Vigler, nice. How many of those have we got now? We've got one Equite, one Heavy Horseman. I don't suppose we have any Cataphracts yet, do we? Nah, I think they died. Damn it. Well, we've got potentially three. It's a start. It's the start of our thousands, don't worry. Alright, we're going to head straight down to Dynostica, so we're just going to fast forward that there. Uh, I'll probably just skip this out, so I'll see you guys in a second at Dynastica. Alright, here guys, here we go. Approaching it now. We just need to go and speak to the person. Who was it? You know, I believe it was Pelicos. Lovely. There you go. So that's that quest line done. And then we're going to head back up. But what we're going to do, we're going to head to Adrissa Castle and we're just going to see if anyone's there. Because if we can take it now, that would be ideal, wouldn't it? But in order to do that, we kind of have, we have to attack. Well, we have to attack someone. Caravan, but too fast for us, unfortunately. Garrison's built back up to 230 men, so that's not good at all. Actually, we can pick some Imperial men up while we're here. Because Adrissa is Imperial, so they give us Imperial troops, which is perfect. I think we've got room enough for five more. Uh, yeah, go on. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Right, let's have a look. What can we do? I think we can't just besiege it. We have to we have to do something. There's two people here. <laughs> no, no, thank you. How am I going to do this? I need to find someone I can attack because I want this castle. Are you around the shark? I could just raid the village really quickly, but then I don't want to reduce my um, relation with the notables in it. Uh, oh, screw it. Yeah, we're going to just do it. Did I fix Autumn Guard anyway? How's it doing now? Uh, that is going up a lot more. I've got one issue somewhere, so there's no point in going all the way back just to deal with that. Uh, walls are good, militia is good, loyalty is actually positive, and security is going down. Uh, uh, ah, bollocks. I need to fix that. Um, and I'm going to fix that by releasing Alda. She's going to put her garrison into Dynastica, which will boost the security, and then once she's done that, we can, well actually we could put her back into it and make her another party leader, or we could change it up a bit, make somebody else. Let's have a look at her skills quickly and see what she's got, because is she a good party leader, or she's got very low leadership, she does have a focus point, so we could try and boost it. Uh, her other skills would go up a lot faster. Uh, tactics, stewardship, that needs a boost. Yeah, you know what, we'll make her a party leader again, I don't see why not. Keeps her alive, it keeps her out of my party, gives her a higher chance of actually staying alive. Just gotta make sure I don't fight with her. Um, so I think that means that she's gone in now. Let's have a look. Security. 
is positive, but the garrison hasn't changed. I don't think she has made it. It's hard to tell because I can't see her. Uh, she's travelling to Autumn Guard. Let's just give it a little while longer. I just want to know if she's in there. If we see anyone, we can get this war started. But uh, that should definitely have been enough time. There we go. Staying Autumn Guard. And then we'll create a party with Alda. I have the other three guys in my party. Brewer and Tial's gone down a little bit. Uh, everywhere else is looking good, yes. Security good, security fine. Loyalty going down minuscule amounts. Again, with there, most of these things are doing okay. Falter can. Makeb should be doing alright because she is of Kuze culture. Security is going up, it is going up, so that's alright. And we're boosting prosperity in most places. Okay, so now we've got a major decision. There's literally no Kuze forces anywhere that I can attack, so I think we're just going to have to try and uh, at just take a hostile action against the settlement. Raiding this village will cause a war. That's fine. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Believe me, I am sorry. Criminal rating has increased by 60 to 60. The relation has increased. Increased? Did that just say increased? Ugh, this is why I didn't want to raid. I should have raided the other village. Why did I raid the Imperial one? That's fine. We can fix that. There's no worries. We can literally fix that. Getting a lot of skill points going in there, I'm noticing. Which is good. If we can, build a battering ram. If we can even have extra time. We'll build a siege tower. I don't know if we'll have time to do it. If we see anyone, as long as we've got a battering ram up, we can charge in and we should be okay. 195. So if we need any more men, luckily we've got a whole bunch of prisoners that we can um, recruit when and as we need them. So that's a good thing about keeping prisoners and when they're all ready to convert, we can just shove them into the party if, uh, you know, if it comes to it and we desperately need extra men. We've got a whole bunch of decent quality archers too. They're not bad. Honestly, those forest bandits are not bad at all. Uh, just thinking, is it worth... No, nope. I don't think we're going to get that built, are we? No, nope, let's go for it. I don't think we have time. Let's try and take this in one. Doesn't matter how many men we lose if we take it. Because we can defend it. Doesn't matter how many men they send against us. As long as we have a fortress, we can defend. Uh, right, where is my siege tower? It is not the left side, it is on the right side. I don't think it ever spawns on this map. I genuinely don't think it ever spawns on the right hand side. It's really weird. It always seems to be glitched. It's like saying I don't have a siege tower. Oh no, I'm an idiot. I didn't build one, did I? Mm. Retard. Right, let's have a look at our formations quickly. Um, we need someone to push the battering ram, but unfortunately that wall is deadly, so we don't want our men to go up that way, ideally. How did I do this before? I think when I was climbing up that ladder, I was getting shot from people up on these towers, so maybe it might be better going on this side. I think that is what I did, isn't it? I went that side instead. Right, so we definitely we need somebody, so we'll keep put all our infantry together. Uh, scratch that, we're not going to put them all together, we're going to put we're going to combine two to make one big unit. That unit is going to go here. Uh, archers. We're going to combine you down into two units. If we can. Uh, you guys are going to go into horse archers. It's just an easier button to press. And then who have we got left? I've messed up there, haven't I? Oh, I combined an infantry with the archers again. God damn it. I, God damn it. <laughs> I don't know if I can split them up. Uh, okay. Uh, God damn it. That's really annoying. Okay, you, you guys can just sit back then, and then I'll take the other two units, which is number six and two, with me. Give them cover first, just so they don't get shot before I get there. Okay, 
then I'm going to run over to there, meet up with them, and we're going to assault that wall on the right first. Hopefully a couple of those infantry are going to go push the battering ram, but you guys follow me real quick, and let's go take this wall. It doesn't take long for us to get out of the firing range of that burn ballista, because luckily for us it's on a really tall wall, a really tall tower even, which means it doesn't have the capacity to actually attack us. Alright, let's get into position. Let's try and take some of these guys out. The only people that we should lose here are a few archers, possibly, and those pushing the battering ram right. Cheers, boys. Might have to push them forward a little bit if I need to in a second, but I will do that. And then we got Unit 5, which we're going to bring in. Not Unit 5, Unit 4, which is our infantry slash archers. We're going to bring them in um, to follow first. So they're going to come up the ladders with me once we've taken out enough of these guys on the defences. Just need to kind of we need to make a hole so that we can actually get through, get onto the wall. That's the hardest part. Once you've got a few boys on it, the castle falls. Archers are getting a lot of hits in, which is good. It seems to have taken out the enemy archers fairly quickly. These guys all look like Batanians, so which is quite weird. Come on, there we go. These might be a uh, mercenary clan's troops, actually. Saying that. There we go, there we go. There we go, getting a few hits in there. Nice. 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 He's got a bloody pike. Let's get rid of him. Nice. So these are not really not that many. I don't know why I said it. We lost two so far. Three to injuries. Not taking major losses. That is just to their archers, so not their ballistas. I'm about half health now. Can't take too many more hits. Down four archers now. But we've nearly gained ourselves a window. Just need to take out a few more of these strong units that they've got here. Right, now we're going to bring in this unit. We're going to make sure they're split up and not in a shield wall so they get here nice and quick. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Now I've got to be seriously careful. Because I have one HP, so a flick is going to kill me. So it's pikemen. Absolutely amazing troops for uh, siege defence. I mean, he needs to kill him. There's quite a few of them actually. Not good. Where are we getting? Oh, that could be the gates. That could be why we're losing so many men. So, so many. We're losing a handful. Right, boys, push up. Or at least try to. I see a. I mean, the. Bollock. I don't know where those losses are coming from. There. Tower. That's why. Okay. I think we're going to have to pull back. My men aren't going to take us with me dead. Yeah, we're losing a few men. I don't want to lose any more. We'll keep it at five losses. Didn't take out nearly enough of them. We may have to break off siege preparations because I have no health. I can't defeat that army. Which is frustrating. Uh, yep, we're going to run. Okay, we need to run. Uh, let's try and go round to Udonistica, I think. Probably the best way. Is there any way we can get our speed up? Because we are not looking too good right now. Oh, they're already catching up. What the hell? Okay, uh, ditch some prisoners, maybe. If we take on the forest bandits. And some of them, and just get rid of the rest. That sped us up a little bit. Oh, a little bit, but not enough. Come on. They're going to catch us. That's so close. Okay, I think we've just sped up. Oh, thank God. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, let's get out of here. This is clearly not where we want to be. No matter what, we just cannot take this castle. Kind of 
Kaiser Castle, Hacken, Uzek. Well, at least that's now available for us to take. Holy plus. Right, well, let's use him as a kind of like early warning system. He might get caught out and help us out just a little bit just by being there. Or they're building cast poles. Okay. I, do I even need a battering ram? Probably not. Just ladders. We can do this with just ladders. Once I can actually form an army and have enough men to um, secure my siege camps. I can start building... Oh, bollocks. 382. I wonder if you can help me. Same enemy and all that. Oh, you're going to run as well. Coward. That's it. Go after him. Or me. That's fine. Why don't you turn around and go for the guy who's chasing you? Does that not make sense too? Oh god, they're faster than me. What? No. Yes. No. Are they or not? Besieging a Kaiser castle. They're besieging Hakun castle. Looks like they don't take too much of it. Well, why don't we go for Yuzet castle then while they're doing that? Chikan's clearly a no-go. They do have 400 defenders, so I might have been there. Uh, you know, a bit eager there. But I just don't want the Empire to take it. As long as the Empire doesn't take Idrissa, I don't care. It's the only thing that will really affect me. But taking Yuzek is good. It pushes our border a little bit further. So hopefully we can do it. We just need to build that siege camp. And hopefully my engineering skill will eventually actually improve. Because the Spirit's been on 68 forever. Uh, stewardship's maxed. That's not good enough. Let's boost that. Party of slaughtered animals. Oh god damn, our food's low. Okay. Need to boost that. Now I need to know, is my engineering actually going up? Or is this just a lie? So we're at 2959. Let's just boost it to about probably halfway and then check again. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, it is. It is going up. It's just going incredibly slowly. It just feels like I've had level 68 engineering for a long time. It's a good thing I've got a lot of animals there, but it is going down bloody quickly, so let's try and get this done quick. Hey, there we go. Alright, let's take this bloody castle. Garrison's are nice and small as well, so it shouldn't be too difficult to take, hopefully. Uh, very small. Obviously we have no battering ram, they do have some siege equipment, but not too much. I only need archers, so everyone can go down there. And that's uh, once again. Let's just put everyone into the same. At this time, let's not put any infantry into it. Unless I have done already, in which case, let's put some infantry into it. Right, we've got 80 archers. You guys prepare yourselves. Because you're coming with me. Oh, yeah, I forget. They always go after the ladders. Absolute idiots. Two blisters. And that would appear to be all there. Alright, archers probably go here, maybe. Face that way and spread out. Let's see if you stay spread out. I should be able to take the blisters out from that angle, but it might not be able to help me out on the wall. It's quite a short castle, so there's not many angles the archers can use. What have we got here? Stuff. Archers are there. That does not look like they're loose. Okay, we all good? You firing anything? They are firing something. Here, it doesn't work sometimes. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I've got the longer weapon. How am I not hitting these guys? There we go. Where the hell are you going? Seriously. Are they facing backwards? What is going on? My god. What the hell are you doing? To use this as a jabbing. I just seriously cannot reach these guys for some reason. Get me on this bloody wall. Do not like being down there. Say heavy horse archer. Nobody up this tower. Got up quick. And I'm losing infantry. Okay, let's uh, try and back up a little bit. Gotta be super careful. Okay, really don't want to take on two at once, that's it, back off. Okay, god they have so much armor, it's ridiculous, why don't my men have that? There we go, there we go. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Go on. Do your swing. Right. Archers, follow me. Yeah, there really weren't that many defenders. But, still enough to make a difference. Let's right, so watch out. Entering the tower is always dangerous. Oh, come on. I told you to follow me. Is anyone on the wall yet? Jesus. Infantry, charge. Cavalry, charge. Let's get this over and done with, because this has been the worst siege I've ever been a part of. What are you doing? Come on. Random memory member of cavalry with me. Oh yeah, because the um, the Mamluks are horse archers as well, aren't they? As cavalry. That's why the Azri Azri um, cavalry is actually quite good. Like, seriously, I've got two men on the wall. Where the hell are the rest of them? They're not even climbing the bloody ladders. What are my archers doing? I'm so damn stupid, man. I don't understand. I've not been like this before. Where are they running yet? Please, just let this be over. Oh, come on. Not good. Come on. There we go. Got him. Alright, let's see if I can open the gate. This just ne this needs to end. This needs to end, like, now. And I still lost someone. Come on. Open that gate. And let's let the men come through. None of them are there, of course. Coming to close the gate. No, you're not. Ah, oh, thank God for that. It's over. Right, we've taken the castle. I know we only lost six men, but that was just painful. 
that was just painful. 37 prisoners, no, nope, not going to take any. Want to be nice and fast, but we have taken a castle, which is brilliant. Uh, next up, we'll try and take Hakun. I'm going to make some Buchelari now, I think. Um, lovely. Definitely need to go and pick up some more infantry if we can at some point. More infantry, more Imperial infantry. Uh, oh yes, so the new update has been released. Um, and with it, we have these three options now. We can devastate, pillage and show mercy to any settlements that you capture. Also, I read in the uh, notes, which makes me laugh, is um, they've managed to fix the AI of the troops during sieges. Now, from what we've just witnessed, I think there might be a teensy little bit of a lie in there. But they might fix it soon, and hopefully they do, because the troops just sometimes, come on, they can be so damn stupid. So let's have a look at our new options. So we can devastate it, pillage, show mercy. Pretty much says what they do really doesn't it um show mercy so we're going to lose prosperity i think no matter how we do this but showing mercy loses the least it loses 11 and we lose um party morale i think that's the option we're going to go with because everything else yeah we get gold to our party and to our army uh, we decrease our relationships with the people we've taken this from notable power so we reduce the power of the notables in the area which are the notables in the villages so their capability to give us elite troops and just troops in general we're going to reduce the loyalty and um, we're going to reduce the level of the buildings and i think devastate is just more of an extreme version of pillage so we're going to do even more damage to everything and um, more effects so we're just going to go ahead and show mercy because we we're taking this place over so we're not we're not raiding it we're not looting it we just want to take it over keep everything as intact as we can and um keep everyone happy uh, boost the reserve a fraction we are very low on cash I need to keep an eye on that uh, got some good buildings level two um, wall fortifications so that's not bad and we're gonna want gardens I think and then toll collectors so try and boost the settlement loyalty security is going to be low uh, we'll all right lovely stuff so we need to try and boost the garrison there as quickly as we can Yep, I know, that's fine, don't worry about it. We're just going to be dropping them off in here. Uh, yes, so I need to get some more food. Oh, come on. Didn't exactly go far now, did I? Let's drop them off. Brings up to 15. Uh, if we head down to Orthon Guard nice and quick, grab some food, grab some more recruits. Just grab a bit of everyone, as many men as we can, and just shove them straight in. Uh, mercenary scouts, nice. We do need to keep an eye on our money because we are definitely losing a lot. It's going down quite a fair bit at the moment. Prosperity in most of our places isn't going enough, up enough to cover the cost. Get rid of these saddles, nice. And then we're going to grab some food for the boys. Nice. Let's sell all this trade good that we don't want. And we'll grab those cows too. Nice, that gives us 10 grand. And then we will take those recruits as well. Puts us over. We're probably going to suffer two or three deserters. Hopefully, no more than that. We shouldn't have said that. Two Dogs Army is coming in fast. I don't think we're going to make it there first. No, we're not. And he's going to come after me. Alda, is that you? I could use your help. Yeah, god damn it. Because they were chasing me, I've lost troops. Brilliant. Well, I'm going to have to drop them off. Pain in the arse. I'll take one back. What a waste. What are you doing? Are you coming over to help or... You're all patrolling. So I think we might lose Uzet Castle. But while they're doing that, we could potentially go and take Hakun. Hakun is now under siege by the Empire, so we can't take that. Wow, I've just been screwed over. That's it. If you just wait there. No, stop running off. Where are you going? Running from two legs. No, don't run. Come back. Where are you going? Come back.
I can't see helping me out here. No, you're running too. Cheers. I probably just go straight into an attack. Yep. Because how much time did I have to build a garrison? None. God damn it. They dropped off 73 men. They don't. They literally did not change how many men are in that party. Wait. Oh, it's only got 20 men left. Okay, I think they have a really high quality army. I don't think challenging them is a very good idea. But Uzek is now weakened. They've broken off their siege. Just try and take Samira because they all seem to be down here. We just need to get away from these armies. Travelling to Hakun Castle. We'll try and take Samira Castle and then Uzek's garrison is still small. So we'll try and take that as well. I definitely, I shouldn't, probably shouldn't have gone to um, peace with them. It definitely feels like they've had a big opportunity to build up their forces. Very high quality men again. But hopefully we can take Samira Castle while they're all down there. As always, just need a siege camp and then we can just run straight in. Hopefully take it, no problems. But we will see. Varric has gained a stewardship point. Let's have a look. Um, what we've got, Drill Sergeant, yep, always XP passively to everybody. Let's try and boost. If we can take Samira Castle, then possibly we can maybe lure them up here. Then we can rush down there. Oh, come on, really? Who's that? Too lag. No, we're not going to build it in time. And I'm kind of stuck here, so I need to run. How did you know to go that way, you bastard? It's fine. Oh dear, oh dear. It's a small army, but it's definitely fast. Is Lena's been captured? Settlements are getting raided. Besieging Tepes Castle. Yeah, you go do that. You go besiege Tepez. Far Creed, what are you doing down there? Alright, if I can take these two guys out, take them prisoner, start trying to whittle down their numbers. Because I think that's what's affecting me the most here. I've got a river. Archers spread out. Infantry move forward and take a square. Cavalry to the rear. Horse archers just behind our archers here. Are they charging or holding? I can't tell. I think they're charging. They should be charging. Not that much. Oh, sort of do. All sorts just push back just a fraction. That's better. There's only 34 of them, but again, these they've got high quality men again, which is the problem. Not the numbers. They attack me, right? Why are they holding? I think they're pushing forward ever so slightly. Right, infantry, push you even further forward. Just get to the edge of that river there. Archers, push forward. Cavalry, push forward. Nice. Alright, here they come. They are pushing forward. Nice. Boys, bows up, start firing. Okay, square. That's, you're all facing the same direction. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of that formation. Okay, that's lo looking like a lot of them are dropping to marches there. Brilliant. Let's try and take them all out. 
Nice boys, doing a really good job. Start taking on that infantry. Here comes the cavalry. Let's try and help the boys out, Just taking out some of these cavalry if we can. We do have a lot of cavalry. There you go, sessions down. Nice, keep dropping them. Cavalry's dropping quick. Nice boys, nice. Nice. Keep holding. Right, horse archers, now you charge. Cavalry, now you charge. Using a few infantry now, but we're still holding strong. Good job, boys. To get in the fight. Nice. That's it, boys. Come on. Wipe them out. Alright, I'm free charge. Finish them off. Kill every last bloody one of them. Yeah, we definitely need to start taking out their lords because these armies are getting a bit out of hand. A lot better quality. And uh, they're actually starting to form some, yeah, pretty decent armies. So if we can start taking their lords prisoner, I mean, the more battles we fight against them, the more chance we have to actually kill some of them too. Which um, will just be even better. If we can kill them without executing them, perfect. Just wipes them off the map. But uh, yeah, they've got few too many laws. They've definitely taken on another mercenary clan, which is not good, but hopefully we can get them to quit pretty quickly. That was one of mine. Finish them off. Excellent. Right. Now many men did we lose? Four. Fantastic. And we wiped out two of their leaders. Hopefully we've captured both of them. And we lost four trained infantrymen. So we need to replace four infantry to go back into the square. Um, yep, you're coming with me, mate. You're coming with me. Infantry, nice. Archers, nice. Loads of upgrades. This is going to cost me a fortune, but it is 100% worth it. As it shows, quality of your troops bloody matters. We are losing so many more men to these stronger armies that we're facing. So yeah, the better men that we can get. Oh, uh, infantry. Yep, free booster. Forest bandit. Mercenary scout, mercenary horseman. Forgot I still had them. And prisoners that we don't need to take any of them. Uh, we'll take the horse archers actually. Noble son. Uh, heavy lancers. Oh, 18 of them. See? 18. We're getting loads of better troops together. Let's try and take them. If we can recruit them, even better. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. And we're starting to get a bit more loot. So let's see if we can take out these other two parties in the area as well. That's it. If you can come after me. Right, Tepes Castle is under siege. Let's see if we can besiege Hakun Castle. It's Lena's escape, so we just need to wait for a day or two. And then she should be good to restart the party. Now they've broken off their siege, which means they're on their way. Uh, we just need to see now if we've got enough time to actually attack. Go on, attack me. Perfect. Okay, we should be able to take these guys on. Got one more of them coming over here. Company of the Golden Boar. So they've got a few mercenary companies fighting for them. They've got the Karakurgit. Karakurgit? I don't know how you say that. In fact, we've got two of them here, which is kind of annoying. I don't want to take them prisoner. I want to build up relationships with them. But um, we can let one go take the other one prisoner. Hopefully there's mercenary cans. Once we start beating a few of their armies, they never seem to hold long. Ideally, I want that hill. I don't think we've got time. Uh, infantry, if you push over to the right a little bit more. Archers, centre. Cavalry to the back. Horse archers to the left flank. They got here fast. 
153. Jesus. Oh, it's, it's these guys, yeah. It's the mercenary horsemen. Which means they're good quality too. Okay, I'm really not sure what to do about this. All sorts just you're just gonna have to charge. Infantry, I need you to push forward a little bit. My archers are about to get slaughtered. Archers, pull back a fraction. Still killing a lot of them. Archers are doing a lot of damage to these guys. But uh, we're losing a lot of men too. Let's just try and beat this army back. God damn, man. They're strong. Okay, let's wipe out their infantry. Once their infantry's done, we can send in the rest of the troops. Oh, God, I'm losing so many men. It's really not good. Okay. Wow, we're losing men. We are losing men fast. Bollocks, 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 bollocks. Come on, archers, I need you to do a better job than you're doing. Infantry, charge. What's going on over here? Half of them on the ground. Oh my god. This is insane, there's so many of them. 120 still. I thought these were my men. I think they've wiped out my horse archers. They have. Oh god. Alright, infantry, looks like you've got a much bigger role. Good luck. There's not a whole lot I can do. I'm nearly dead. Yeah, we need to wipe out this mercenary clan. Did not realise they were as strong as they were. We definitely won't be taking this castle, I can promise you that. Nice boys. Infantry starting to go, get through them a little bit. Look at this, they've got a little formation going here on the side. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Shield. I didn't get my shield. I don't know if we're going to win this. 26, 28, 30, oh my god, look at all that red. Evenly matched, it's going down very, very evenly. We've lost 50 men so far. 55, 56, 58, oh my god. Getting absolutely slaughtered. Okay, they need to break off their contract. Eckhart has died. Of course, yeah. Yeah, you'll both come with me. I can't let you go. I'm sorry. You are way too strong. 59 troops. I don't care of their quality. I need the men. Obviously, we're getting a lot of good quality men out of this, but the amount that we're losing at the same time, it's not breaking us even. We're losing more of our good men than we're gaining. Which is not good. So many prisoners. Can't take any of them. Right, let's take a lot of the stuff. Oh yeah, no way. No, the 85 men. Don't think so. Tepe's still under siege. No, they've broken that off. Okay, all I've got to do is I've just got to keep capturing lords. As much as I can. I'm going to have to get a new companion as well. Now that we've lost Eckhard. Is Lena? Be careful. Looks like Socrates is on his way. Loyalty is going down. Security is going down, but not too much. It's going okay here. We need to sell our stuff and make some money back. 40 grand, nice. 
Um, and we could probably buy some more food as well. Beautiful. 39,000, nice. Cruise, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Just need men. We're going to keep the prisoners that we have. Far Creed. Selena just needs a little bit of support for the moment. She's going to get captured. I can't fight two armies at once. Well, security in this place is, what, 100 more or less? Garrison's boosting it hugely. Bound village issues is bringing it down by three, so there's a lot of issues. Okay, so that's what we need to deal with uh, if I'm to put our prisoners here, which I'm going to do because I think they're going to be the most secure in a town. I was going to say, don't tell me they've all escaped. No, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Definitely need more infantry. Uh, dungeon. Manage prisoners. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. I've got five so far. We need to build that up and take as many as we can. Um, but before we do that, we're going to have to heal up. This learner is definitely going down. There's not much I can do about that. Right, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, <laughs> we got a bit of a comeback to make. It's going to be a slow crawl, I think. Um, at least the only positive thing is that they're at war with the Empire for the moment. Um, I mean, we took Uzet Castle, but they've taken it straight back. Uh, but that has weakened the garrison, so we should be able to take it back as well. Once we can just start dropping their numbers, the sieges will become a lot easier and we'll be able to get through. And once they've obviously their armies become more focused on recruits, because they're just trying to get back into the battle, we should be fine. Uh, we just got to take out these high quality recruits, um, high quality troops first. Like all these sort of armies we're looking at here. We're going to have to try and wipe them out, try and take them prisoner as often as we can. Um, protect the major settlements that we've got now, so any of the new ones we can sort of give up. It doesn't really matter because we know that the garrison's now going to be a lot lower, so it should be easy to take back. Um, but it's the ones like Tepes Castle we do need to try and protect because it has got a well built garrison. It's got a lot of men in it, so we need to try and protect it as best we can. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we also need to try and get a new companion, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Maybe we could get somebody who's uh, a spice vendor. We'll try and get somebody who's like who's a like, um, cultured to help us out a little bit more. But other than that, guys, if you've got any suggestions, comments, tips, anything like that, make sure to let me down in the comments below or go ahead and join me on Discord and you can message me there as well. If you've got your own playthrough going, go check out the how to guides I've got on the game. I'll cover a lot of the aspects and mechanics of the game. I'll be doing one soon on the EM update and the new features within that update as well. Um, otherwise, guys, make sure to go ahead and join me on Discord. If Make sure you subscribe as well if you haven't already, um, just so you can keep up to date with all the content and um, support the channel as much as possible. But otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, we definitely will take some more land back and we will push the EQ8 back as much as possible. We'll have a lot of battles coming our way. Um, oh, they're getting a lot harder now as well. The enemy is getting a lot stronger. They're really trying to fight back. So hopefully we can push them back even further. But we're going to have to try and be a bit more patient. Be a bit more tact tactic, tactically thinking as much as possible. Um, otherwise, yeah. I'll see you in the next comment, guys. Hope you enjoy. Goodbye.